Hey guys, and welcome to Modern Ukrainian Homestead channel. Quick update for you. I've put atop these two towers, one here and one from that side, as you may see. They're already up, but still not ready to be put into production since I need to put some wires uh, to like make them nicely, nicely stiff. But right now we will talk about a little bit about different thing. Very, very recently, and I mean quite always and quite often, I'm getting uh, commands and talks that vertical is so much better, it starts earlier, it has no noise, etc, etc. So first of all, please hear the noise. Do you hear any noise from the horizontal ones? And now compare visually the rotations this one gets and this one gets. Why specifically I am comparing you these two? Because they actually cost about same value. 250-260 bare price on AliExpress. 270-300 maybe with something on AliExpress. X3, M3. Um, what else? They sit on the same height right now. They have the same controller and even probably the same distance to the of the same wire with probably the same distance, maybe just only a couple of meters difference, not 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 much. They both start on 1.3 meters per second wind, very low. But this one gets in production already on two. It already shows it's one two watts on two meters per second already. It already shows something in, something in production. This one needs to get to at least seven eight meters per second wind to show you something to show you that same one two watts and that's the main difference rotates does not mean produces that's the first thing you have to understand uh, right now the wind is different the wind is blowing from two to three so they may stop they may they may start going this one actually starts way 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 later at 2.5 only it may start rotation and well i mean it will keep rotation until two uh if it goes down to two and if it keeps blowing constantly but uh, if it will stop if it goes less than that uh, to see some production out of the bigger machine, you have to get it past 3 meters per second. It will not get any production. These M-series, the smaller ones and the bigger ones, will get you production already on 2 meters per second. Let me prove it to you. Let's go to the controller side and I will show everything. So, the same view, but from the controller side. Let me remind you, I have my wind uh, meter put over there. On top, you cannot see it probably here from here. Let me try if you if you'll be able to locate it. But it's right on the edge, yeah. Now you can see it. It's right on the edge over there. So basically, almost the same height as those two. So let's go and check what's going on with with the wind speed and what's happening on the controllers. So here is the wind speed meter. We look on the average. This is the reality right now, 15 seconds before. So this is the wind that was, that was 15 seconds before. So there, there is a delay. That's for you to understand how this works, because like this radio signal has to get into and then to show, uh, to, to transfer this to the, to the, I mean, to the board. And now here are the controllers. So this is the X3 and this is the M3, the vertical, the horizontal. One solar panel. The wind turbine output, voltage of the wind turbine output, same, same solar panel. And again, same voltage and wind turbine output. You see the difference yourself, right? I mean, this is quite heavy. This is probably, it got probably two, maybe four. I don't know. No, no, that's again, that's a delay. That's a delay. Let's wait, let's wait a bit and see what was the, what was the wind uh, gusting here. So you have seen like 17 watts. I bet it would be probably somewhere like 3.54. Let's just wait a little bit of seconds to see how it changes. Come on, give us something bigger. I mean, since both of them are sitting barely low, there are not stable uh, wind blows uh, anywhere here and there. No, it doesn't want to change too much still shows 2.2 let's wait one more 
second, maybe it will show some or something, something different. But definitely 17, 20 watts, this is something that is already, yeah, 3.2, I will believe it. Maybe even a little bit more. But in general, you got me. This is the output that you can get from the horizontal and from the vertical. That's the main thing. You see? And if you will go with M series, whatever M series, uh, M3, the smallest one that I have, or bigger, M5, M6, M8, you will see that so much better because they have the nice startup area on their blades. This one requires more, more wind to actually uh, start, but it goes much more stable on the heavy winds as well, and it has protection. It has the furl and tail mechanism over here. This is 2.5 meter diameter, diameter FT1000L to those who don't know yet. And as you may see, yeah, here are the two towers. They are erect, uh, and I will be reshuffling the wind turbines over those poles. Uh, and this tower will be getting rebuilt very, very, very soon because I want to put this one out and to put it on there. And here the FT 2000 L2 will be sitting. Uh, that's something that I'm heading for within the next month that should be accomplished. So let's see how it goes. And thanks for watching and see you later, guys.